Good morning. It is 9.45 and we've been lazy. Yeah, I got it. Thank you. Because <laughs> she let unlatched. Um, we've had a lazy, lazy morning thus far. Everly, I've been up since, I don't even know, seven or something. I've just been laying here scrolling through social media, fell in the black hole, and uh, Everly just woke up about 20 minutes ago. Hi. <laughs> I'm just feeding her. Yes, uh, this is how I, I don't know how, I guess if you just don't wear a bra every night or don't wear a shirt, I, I really just don't know. The, I can't keep my shirts. You know, I want to be one of those like breastfeeding mamas that's like, oh, just, you know, lift up my shirt. It, it's just not that comfortable for me, really. I don't know if it's because her age. She is getting better. She, I don't have to hold her as much or anything now that she's getting older, but it is, um, it's one of those things like I have to throw my, take my shirt off or throw it over my head or clip it up or do something. I'm just not one of those fancy breastfeeding mamas that can just lift my shirt and let my baby play with it so I feel discombobulated when that happens so anyway I um, fell into a black hole of social media um, and honestly like I am not going to give really my thoughts on the coronavirus thing especially as like a medical professional and as mom and as just a normal citizen you know that you Do you feel better? Hmm? Do you feel better? She's getting bald, like she's thinning on the sides of her head. And then she's got all this hair that sticks straight up at the top of her head. Just like Maddie. Hmm. Just like Sissy. <laughs> see how long before she screams. I already have a bottle ready for her, just in case. Oh, not much. So, anyway, yeah, I, um, I have lots of thoughts and opinions on the coronavirus, and I do think it is good to have your house prepared for certain things, mostly uh, in the sense that, like, schools are being shut down, colleges all across the nation are being closed classes are being taught online when they're supposed to be in uh, in-person classes I don't know my camera is like going wonky and I'm already in online school I don't have to worry about that transition uh, we already stock up on everything we buy like we're a family of 10 so I don't really have to worry about that either I, my thought is, is always be prepared for that kind of stuff. Always keep bottled water. Always keep extra toilet paper and paper towels and rice and beans. <laughs> that kind of stuff at your house. Um, however, uh, I do and I can see how all transportation is being closed down internationally. A lot of it, at least. And so a lot of the stuff we get from international services is going to be delayed. So, you know, I can totally see both sides of panic. Um, as far as the actual virus itself, uh, the medical professional in me wants to say it'll be fine. We've dealt with worse. The mom and citizen in me wants to say, I want to stay in my house forever. So I, like I said, I'm not going to directly, directly talk about what you should do, how, how, what I think, if it's stupid or not stupid. Like, I just don't, that's, I'm not here to be political about it at all. Um, I think you take precautions as to what you feel like is necessary for your family. And I don't think you should let anybody else tell you what you're doing is right or wrong. Um, that's just coming from me because I watch a lot of people on social media. I watch a lot of influencers on Instagram and YouTube, and there is huge debates over it right now where you find somebody that is like, nope, I'm hungering down. I'm stocking up and quarantining myself for a year you find the opposite people of like i bought a flight to disney for six people round trip eighty dollars let's go you know i don't know i do have to say i find some of the memes hilarious in different ways honestly i some of them are like okay that's a little 
pushing the political issues. Okay, that's super funny because it's probably true. Um, you know, like I just read one, let me see if it's still here, about uh, corona coronavirus got boomers stocking their doomsday bunkers. Meanwhile, millennials are online shopping for bathing suits for the Five Island trip they just booked on Spirit for $130. Again, I posted one on my um, Instagram, which you can go check out if you don't follow me on Instagram. It's hkd1122, shameless plug. Talking about my Bath and Body Works soaps. Again, I've been hoarding soaps for years and years and years. Who of y'all were around in 2010 and 2012 when I was buying $300 worth of Bath, Bath and Body Works stuff? Uh, I still do, soaps is my main thing, and I have probably 40 of them. In there now are they as good as like super antibacterial regular soap maybe not but they'll they get the trick done they wash they take off stuff of your hands if you wash long enough you know I have hand sanitizer galore because I have kids we have baby wipes and toilet paper and paper towels for probably two months um, and diapers and we have you know those kinds of things doesn't mean I won't run out and get some more stuff just because um, but we um are already prepared how did i even get to talk about that oh i'm like half half doomsday bunker and half millennial i guess i mean technically i'm a millennial but am i no i'm generation x oh no 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 i have to look it up don't don't quote me i don't know what generation i'm from i think i'm a millennial anyway i was born in 86 what am i and a millennial i could easily google it but i don't really care that much so i'm like half and half i don't really want to send my kid back to school next week but at the same time if the schools don't shut down I don't you know I don't know it is what it is so like I said I'm circling back I'm saying a lot of things even though some of this stuff is funny oh I was talking about the post I posted um, about saying like CDC, CDC says to wash your hands and the shelves are like clear of soap um, and I've been prepared for this for years and it's a picture of all these Bath and Body Works soaps totally me I mean we have soap galore, we have dish soap galore, we have laundry soap, I have all, that's my life. I, I live that way anyway. So I'm definitely, I had a client last night that I thought was actually funny. He works for the government um, and civil, civil service. And he said, he's like, I don't believe in all this pandemic stuff and blah, blah, blah. And he's like, but you know what? We went to Sam's and bought a 50 pound bag of rice and beans. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you know again it's it's not funny um, but some of the stuff you just have to laugh at because I'm like where do people come up with this stuff it, it's crazy so I would encourage you to be kind wash your hands stay away from people if you're coughing um, you know don't go out don't send your kid to school if they're sick that kind of stuff again that's coming from the medical professional in me as a parent um, I just think we should all support each other. You guys know I'm not very fond of like negativity and stuff and I feel like some of the influencers that are posting things are getting drastic, drastic either hateful comments about, you know, being so obtuse about everything or supportive comments like, yeah, this is ridiculous. I think you can find it no matter, you can find anything you're looking for is my point. You want to find over the top scared people you're gonna find them you want to find people that just don't care you're gonna find them so I say pick your community and stick with it and stick with your beliefs and don't believe what other people tell you that's you know do your own research and kind of go from there so anyway she seems to be fine you're doing good mama you're so pretty you know that you're so beautiful <laughs> see this isn't my best angle mom it's not the best angle you see yourself? Do you? <gasps> is that Everly? Yes, it is. That's Everly. Yeah, you're so hungry. Yeah, you're so hungry. Autumn has school all this week. She didn't. She doesn't have spring break. Um, the big girls are playing Donkey Kong on Maddie Super Nintendo. I can hear them in her room. So we were going to meet up with my high school friend. <laughs> and he's like oh you're so close <laughs> uh, we were going to meet up with a high school friend we may still do it but the weather's kind of gross so I don't know I guess we'll, we'll see oh and I turned in my video last night after work and well I turned it in before but it, it 
didn't upload properly so I turned it in after and yay I just have a test that I have to do by Saturday and then the class starts all over again with geriatrics so it'll be a nice few day break though I need to tighten and move her straps but she's in the cutest outfit today she finally fits into it I think it's a three to six month actually um, and it has a little panda bear in the pocket how cute and a matching bow and she's not super happy right now I don't know why super cute you're so thinking cute, Mama. You ready to go run errands? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> We're braving Sam's Club because I need formula. And so far, come on, I've seen every single person walk out with cases of water. No, no toilet paper, just water. You see this? Line. Line starts way up there. Ends way back here. <laughs> Offer formula. I should have gone to Walmart. Although I don't know that Walmart or HEB would have been any better, but... Here we are. So far, found an outfit for Everly. <laughs> Lots of cute clothes that I will be looking at for sure. Okay, I came here to look just because I'm curious. So we have paper towels, um, paper towels, and napkins. Zero toilet paper. They have stuff back there, but I can't tell. They have Pampers? Yeah, back there. They don't. I don't see any toilet paper though. That is so crazy. We're gonna run out of toilet paper. I guess that's why people are buying. Oh, there's tissues down there. I guess that's why they're buying uh, paper towels to wipe your booty if there's no toilet paper. You do what you gotta do. The dawn. It's gone. It is all gone. <laughs> I mean, I guess. You could. Oh no, there's some down there. Look. It's for scrubbing dishes. It's on sale, seven twenty-five. That's. I just need one, baby. Okay. We're gonna see what else we can find that everyone's hoarding and stocking up on. Dish. I mean, uh, I guess no one's worried about doing their laundry. That's not seems to be a concern here. Cleaning supplies. Let's find the. Let's see, that's just regular cleaning. See, diapers and wipes are still here. I guess people forget that. You could wipe yourself with a wipe, you know? I don't know. The girls are helping. These are on instant savings. I've been wanting to try them. Again, you guys know I've been try wanting to try some stuff from Sam's versus Costco. Our membership ends in like a month. See if it fits there, baby. Um, so I'm just trying to get a feel for some stuff. So $3 off, $15 for 11.52 wipes. That's a really good deal. That's more than we get at Costco. Costco, they're 20 bucks and you get 900. So I've heard these are really good. I guess we'll see. So I'm getting one of each box. Okay. Let's see. We need formula. Everly is just chilling. Okay. Oh, yep, that's exactly what we need. Hold on, the blue can. Yeah, Let me see. For the, box. the blue can, that one. Is that one the one we use? Yes, that one. Um, well, they seem to be quite in stock. I guess no one's worried about feeding their kids, so. Two is fine. Okay. That way everybody can get her no one's worried about medicines, it seems, except like airborne and vitamin C. Mom, can you sit up, Mom? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, you're okay. Um, all of the, oh, I guess they have some band-aids and peroxide. And sorry. No, no, you're okay. Gloves are gone. Alcohol is gone. Gloves. First aid kit is gone. Can you grab mommy some of that peroxide, please, baby? We're almost out anyway. Yeah, just one pack. Thank you. Just put it in the cart. I didn't, I never saw any, um, like, Lysol wipes or hand sanitizer, probably because it's gone. They have the liquid hand soap, soft soap brand, and that left. I don't see... No, mommy's just looking. The dial, I think, is all gone. Maddie, you gotta get out of the way, baby. 
Um, I think the Dial foam soap is all gone. <laughs> the alarm just went off. I was like, oh my god, someone's trying to steal water. Lord, this is insane. I did not. It's a scary store. <laughs> it is a little creepy. There's a lady that um, I was. They had some hand soaps and. The lady right before me snatched uh, two whole boxes of them. I'm surprised big box stores like this don't have limits on things. Or maybe they do and they don't tell you until you get up there. I got two cases of water, one thing of uh, paper towels, the wipes. The formula is what I came in for. I just figured I would pick up the water and stuff since I was here already. And then I got one thing of dish soap because we needed it. And... What else? Oh, the peroxide because we needed it. So, yeah. I wish we had toilet paper because we are almost out. Huh? Yes, it helps clean out. But I use it mostly to clean out like time of the month accidents <laughs> on the bed and stuff. It gets bled out really easily. So, that's why I like to keep it. And it's so cheap, $1.50 for the two pack. Although, like I said, I do wish that they had um, hand sanitizer. We we have some at home, but I probably could use another bottle or two. And I wish that they had some. We have plenty of Clorox wipes and cleaning supplies. I'm not worried about that. Uh, what was the other thing? Oh, and hand soaps, I have plenty of them. I wonder if Bath and Body Works is sold out. I'm curious, those aren't antibacterial though. The ones here, the dial were antibacterial, so. Who knows, but oh my gosh, this is crazy. Although the line is moving pretty fast, I have to give it to them. This is what my receipt looks like. Let me see, can I get you to see it? There's a good place for it. <laughs> there, 144.15. I got a pack of baby wipes, a pack of paper towels, two packs of baby wipes, pack of paper towels, two packs of water, one outfit, two things of formula, because she accidentally scanned it twice and then voided one. Uh, Dawn. That's it, $144, Lord. And like I said, I didn't even, I really wanted to try and find, I don't even know really why I'm trying to find hand sanitizer. I should have got, just for the kicks of it, a thing of rice and beans, just because that's what everyone else is getting. Why not join the club, you know? But truly, I have a lot of food at the house, so it's not like that big of a deal, but I just, I mean, now I'm like thinking I need to be prepared, you know, and we, I checked yesterday and, or I checked this morning before we left and we really only have like one thing of toilet paper left. So I was like, dang it, what if we really do need toilet paper? We'll be wiping with baby wipes. Okay, this stuff will be so cute for Mexico. Now, our trip, is cur I haven't not booked it because it's super cute. I like this dress. This, oops, I think this is a dress. And this one's cute. Oh my gosh, that one's super cute. So is that one. So our uh, Mexico trip has been put on hold because so many flights. Come on, girls. This walk, walk, walk. We're at Target to look for toilet paper because now I'm afraid we're going to be out of toilet paper and when we actually need them, everyone's hoarding it so we're not going to have it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Wrong store to bring them in. Um, Target. Why does my yeah. camera keep zooming? Anyway, so our Mexico trip is on hold right now. I hadn't booked it anyway, but I was. We were looking at flights, and now with all the flight cancellations and the whole thing, we're just waiting for it to blow over to see how it goes before we book anything. So we may or may not be coming. I saw online Target has toilet paper. We're here to look. So. They are out of disinfectant wipes, which is, I mean, I totally understand. They do have some soaps. They have hand soaps, but not antibacterial. Um, ooh, yay, they have some toilet paper. Let's see if they have the kind we use. Mm, look for the kind we use. Oh yeah, way down there. Yes, so. Target is the place to come for your toilet paper and paper towels. They have plenty. Y'all are so strange. <laughs> this is the toilet paper we use, so 
We're good. That is a very pretty way to display tampons. I like that. Various colors. That's pretty. I would totally put that on my bathroom sink. Okay, don't mind my hair. Well, it doesn't actually look that bad. I thought it looked worse. Oh no, it kind of looks bad. I put it up because I, you hear my stomach regurgitating all of the pretzel I just took a bite of. Um, we've had a long day, so we're home. And now, Bella, get you some food. We're doing laundry. I have every single towel we own because for whatever reason, they were all dirty at the same time and then I figure I'd just wash like all the dish, this is cat food, all the dish towels and the, because in the bathroom we don't use paper towels, we use to dry our hands, we use a towel. So I washed, I'm washing all of those and it just adds up. That's not your food. Bella, Bella. I'm also kind of just trying to organize and see what all we do have to see if I do need to buy some something. So I just opened a couple boxes of the fabric softener, but I'm down to two small bags with the Tide. I should have bought some while I was there. I thought we had laundry detergent, but I guess not. So anyway, fed Everly, I'm about to pump, and we're going to figure out what's for dinner. Finally got my room pretty clean. I changed out Everly sheets since I'm doing laundry. Got our laundry down. The floor just needs a good vacuum. I need to get downstairs though because Everly is not happy. She's not having it with the girls. So I found this little backup stash from uh, Disney. It had some wet ones in it, an antibacterial spray, and some individual. These are from Dollar Tree, which I'm sure they are completely out of. I also found some band-aids. I also went through that bucket of clothes, which was clothes from a friend. I am getting rid of a whole bunch, and I sent a whole bunch downstairs to be washed. And I'm just gathering all the stuff. Passies, which, okay, we've never had passies really in the family. We lose these like crazy. It's insane. So I'm taking everything down to be washed, sanitized, all that good stuff. I picked myself up a sanitizer too. Also, I wanted to share with you guys my outfit of the day really quick before I head downstairs. The, this shirt is from Walmart a while back. It was during the fall sometime. It's very, very stretchy. I don't even know the brand or the size or anything, to be honest. It's time and true, and it's a 2X, a size 20. Um, and it has, like, bat wing sleeves. So it looks pretty good from the front. Um, if I am not careful, it makes me look a tiny bit pregnant from this side. You see that? <laughs> It's just one of those shirts that like suck in up here and flare out at the bottom So I have to be careful with it, but luckily there's enough fabric that it, it feels pretty good. Also, I am in my Barely in my shorts that I was wearing two summers ago They're they're a size 20, but they're a little tight Like I have them on but and they're stretchy. Thank goodness But yeah, they're a little tight. So if I'm not careful They ride up Clearly, and I'm wearing them about, oh, I forgot to tell you guys. I forgot to talk about my weigh-in this morning. I lost 0.8, I was 281.9, I believe was my weight. Yeah, 281.9. So when we went to, I bought these when we went to Disney, which was in 2018, the summer of 2018, so about a year and a half ago. Um, yeah, because we went in like June of 2018, about a year and a half ago. So I was probably, I could probably look it up. I want to say I was like 270-ish. I actually went to go back and look because on my fitness file because I, I wasn't super sure and I wanted to just make sure. So all of these shorts, which I hauled them when I got them, they're, the brand is Terra and Sky. They still, they don't know that they have these exact shorts at Walmart, but the brand is still there. It's a plus size woman's brand, so I was able to fit into a 20 all the way around. Right now I cannot get my Torrid. I can get them on, but they're tight. And throughout the day they stretch, but they're tight. And they give me kind of like a roll in my stomach because my stomach is where I'm carrying the most of my extra weight right now. Okay, well, let, most of my baby extra weight that I have, because let's face it, I have a lot of extra weight, but 
anyway, <laughs> that's beside the point. When we went to um, Disney, I was in better shape. I was only like 12 pounds lower. June 2nd, I was 270. June 9th, I was 273. June 24th, I was 274. And June 30th, I was 269. So I was hovering right there at that like 270, 272 range. So like 10 or 12 pounds different, but my body was shaped a little bit different after having two years since having the previous child. Um, right now I'm only three months postpartum. So um, my stomach is carrying a lot of extra weight than it normally does. And so they are a little bit tight, but these, these I was wearing 10, 15 pounds ago, perfectly fine. So I just need to get there. But today it was hot, it was like 82 degrees. And I wanted to wear shorts and these are the stretchiest ones I could find. I think I have a pair of 22s from Torrid or maybe 24s that I'm sure would fit perfectly fine. Um, but I like these, they're super cute. And I like the stretch that they give, um, but I do need to suck it in a little bit to get them on. So anyway, I felt, you know, put together and pretty today running errands. So now I um, got all the towels from up here. I straightened up the bathroom, straightened up my bedroom, kind of put stuff away. I looked under the cabinet. I just, again, was like trying to see what all kinds of cleansers and stuff that we had. Um, so I was looking through the closet uh, looking through underneath the cabinet, I organized that. Looking through the linen closet, now I'm headed downstairs because I can hear my kiddo not happy. For dinner tonight, we're kind of just cleaning out the fridge. I had a bunch of like things that needed to be used. Unfortunately, my grape tomatoes didn't make it. I had to toss those, but I had one little lonely zucchini, about half a cup of hominy, half, like not even a half, a third of an onion, um, and some garlic that Andres was using for a garlic cleanse or something that he never ended up finishing. We had two chicken breasts, um, half a jar of pasta sauce, a couple jars of pasta sauce, and one thing in the freezer of tortelloni. So I'm cooking this up for me. I'm gonna have this with some chicken, maybe just a few of the tortelloni, but that's what the girls are having for dinner. That's the one from Costco. They freeze really nicely. You pop them in there and it's good for one meal. You throw some protein or some veggies. I'm gonna cook up some broccoli as well. Broccoli is not bad looking, but just to use it up. I also have some shredded chicken with Alfredo and a bag of coleslaw. I may not use the coleslaw. Um, I may save that for turkey sausage, but I'm for sure gonna cut up some broccoli and use the rest of that chicken uh, in this. And I'm just gonna split it up into meals if I need to and eat it throughout the weekend. It's gonna be delicious. On top of the seasoning that I use is a sweet mesquite seasoning from Costco. Better than eating out. We are currently cleaning up rooms. Um, I'm going through Maddie's desk. Emmy's going through her stuff. It's not that bad. Um, this is clean clothes that we just need to put away. Yes, the playroom is what is a disaster. Oh my gosh. But I'm getting where Nin's having a yard sale in a couple of weeks at her house. Whose chonas are those on the floor? Oh my gosh. So we're going through kind of each of the rooms and just getting rid of stuff that we don't need. We already did the playroom. It just needs to be organized again. Um, Emmy's doing her room and baby. Oh, he's in our room. I'm doing Maddie's desk because, oh my gosh, you would be so surprised what kids hoard when left to their own, what is that saying? Whatever, mind. <laughs> Wait. Mommy's exhausted. We've been in Maddie's room. Emmy, semi, did her room. She cleaned it all up and handed me a few things she wanted to get rid of, but I really, really needed to take the time to go through the girls' clothes and move Maddie's oh. clothes down. Well, mine was and the hardest room of all. This whole trash, trash bag is, is hers, trash. There's yeah. one, like a little bit of stuff from the bathroom, but the whole bag was trash from her desk, from underneath her bed. Oh my gosh. Mommy, Cute. I'm gonna show you this time, 10.02. I know, it's super late. We've been in here a long time. Her mattress protector needs to go on the mattress tomorrow, but a thousand, a thousand times better in this here. This is not my room. Oh my gosh, okay. it was horrendous. 
she needs a good vacuum, um, but we'll vacuum tomorrow. But the closet, I'll grab them. Thank you. The closet looks so much better. We actually went through her shoes. She has, the problem with her and Autumn is they have a lot of up sizes. Like the top half of her shoe thing are sizes that are bigger. Hey, mommy, um, can you show so. them how it looks now? I did. I showed them. Pants are up here. Short sleeves are down here. Long sleeves are up here. And dresses are here. So, long sleeve, that's all she has. Uh, fancy dresses, like Christmas dresses, Easter dresses, stuff like that we don't wear regularly. Pants, that's all she has. And then shirts and dresses. So this is what she's in right now. We went through her drawers. She literally has no socks. Just what's in her, in her need to do her laundry. Chinas. She has like four pairs of shorts. Nothing there. Ballet. Her ballet stuff that probably still doesn't even fit her. It used to be a ballet. Ballerina. And ballet class. At and the then this period. one. I don't. Here. I can't get it with my foot. Bathing suits. Bathing suits. We tried those on too, and I gave like four to Autumn. So anyway, we did. We did really, really good. <laughs> now it's bedtime. We even went through animals. Went through her drawers and, and cleaned those out. So yeah, now it is bedtime. Hop into bed. You say good night. Good night, see you tomorrow. Boop. Good night, see you tomorrow. Boop. Autumn and Everly. I forgot. Good night, see you tomorrow. Boop. What? She's the bathroom. What? Oh, did you brush your teeth? Here, I'll get your vitamins. Go. Vitamins, brush teeth. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Do you want to show your room? Do you want to show your room or no? So I let Emmy do hers. <laughs> um, oh, cool. I'm almost done with the shell thing and it's a 500 puzzle piece. Yeah. Oh my god. I had these puzzles in my... Hey, this. teeth. No ma'am, teeth. I had these puzzles in... They're from Dollar Tree. And she asked if she could do them because Lord knows I was never going to do them. And so she's done them. She's oh, also god. on... Goblet of Fire. Harry Potter. Um, but yeah, I had her... Her room, I didn't, like, come in here and direct her. I just kind of let her do her thing. Yeah. The other so, one? her room needs probably some more work, like, clothes-wise. and But I trust her more to be able to go through her stuff and tell me when something doesn't fit. Maddie will sit there and wear it until it just... Uh, does Until it fits. Her room could use some work, though. But she's a little bit older. She kind of has more direction with her stuff. Also, I am fairly certain I made 100 on my... Test? On my uh, video, I'm oh, super job. excited. So, okay, bed. Thank you. Still awake, still doing stuff. It's nearly midnight. I'm waiting for the vlog to upload. I ex edited and export it. This is what we got out of the rooms. So, for three and a half bags worth of donation, um, clean laundry. We have more clean laundry over there, a whole bag of trash from upstairs. The kitchen is dirty, but we'll worry about that tomorrow. I'm not too, too worried. We did a delay start, um, which is new. Oh, hello, Lurdita. <laughs> we did a delay start on the um, washer with Maddie's clothes in there because she was the next one that had the most clothes. We did Everly's, I will do, I mean, Autumn sometime over the weekend. Autumn had the majority of her clothes were clean, but make sure she doesn't get in the garage. So I'm out here looking at how much food we have for the animals because, again, I've been watching too much, probably, social media, and I'm scaring myself a little bit. Not like scaring, scaring, but enough to where I feel okay like this could be a real thing we could get shut down completely Disney World Disneyland Universal Studios all shut down so many flights have been canceled trips have been canceled NBA so many colleges classes college classes are um, being extended and moved online so far all the kids have school still but that's just the next thing that I'm waiting for so I'm trying to kind of prepare before this weekend to see if we need anything. If we do happen to get stuck in the house for a few weeks with 
no end in sight, you know, or I, be, I was even reading like, <laughs> this is, I don't know, it's just like so crazy. I was even reading about, um, you know, the meds that you should have on hand, which the majority of them we have. It's not like I feel like this is the end of the world or anything. However, I do feel like we're a large family to be at home if we happen to get stuck here and we happen to be told we can't go anywhere, you have to stay home, businesses are shut down or whatever. <sighs> Although I'm not sure how that works with me working in a hospital. I'm technically not on the schedule yet, so... I don't really know how that works. Hosp I mean, nerd medical staff cannot not go to work. So I don't really know. I'm thinking like, I'm thinking more like schools. If schools are shut down, H&R Block for the time being, Andres's job, if any of those are shut down for whatever reason, or the stores happen to close, like I almost feel like when we were at Sam's today, I was telling Andres's, he doesn't believe me how crazy it was. He's like, no, you're kidding. Like, that's not, I'm like, have you not seen pictures and video on Facebook. <laughs> I thought that they were crazy too. Like that's not true. And then when I experienced it today, I told him, I said, it feels like Black Friday. That's exactly what Sam's felt like today. The lines were just as long. People were grabbing stuff off the shelves. Like it was a penny. It's just so crazy to me. So this makes me wish I had been a stronger couponer <laughs> from the get go, because if I had, I would have a stockpile full of stuff. And I do have a, a good amount of some things. You guys can see my shelf over there. I have my rolls of toilet paper and paper towels, which is sufficient for right now. I do have, um, three cases of water. I have some three gallons over there for Everly for her bottles. I have some vinegar, a couple cleaning supplies, Ziplocs. If, I, if you need Ziplocs, come to my house. We have some Kleenex and trash bags. And that's pretty much it. Um, we only have a couple things of Lysol in the house, several, a couple things of Clorox disinfectant wipes. We have three things of hand sanitizer, like the large, not large, like the regular size bottles. Um, I was able to dig up those wet wipes. We have hand sanitizer, we have plenty of soap. Thank goodness I'm a Bath and Body Works hoarder because we have plenty of soap. And that's not even like an antibacterial bath uh, soap, but at least it's something. So we have that kind of stuff. I'm not too worried about that, but now I told on the rest, I was like, now I'm a little more worried about food. I mean, we're a large family to feed if something, if we had to stay in the house for several weeks, um, or God forbid we lost power or something like that, I'm like worried about the fridges and I don't know, especially cause like today our power flickered for just a second and it shut the whole house off. Like the breaker had to be reset and everything and I was like, oh my gosh, it's happening. <laughs> so needless to say, I'm just trying to be, like we have five, five gallon things of water right here. Let me show you. And uh, I think only one of them. Yeah, only that one has water. The other four are empty and we have one inside in the tank that's empty. So I told Andres, so I was like, we need to take, that's five, that's 25 gallons of water. That's five of them right there that we need to fill up just in case H-E-B happens to shut down or something. And uh, I told him, I said, we need to get more baby water for Everly. And I may even pick up another can of formula and more diapers because now I'm like, oh my gosh. I mean, and I'm an over-preparer, you guys know this. Like, I prepare big time. We have diapers galore, I feel like. But no, I probably won't need diapers. I'm being a little crazy, a little crazy. And I just picked up two cases of wipes, which by the way, I need to find out what Sam's return policy is because I do not like the scented wipes. I don't like the smell of them. I don't even know why I bothered picking up the scented wipes. I knew I probably wouldn't like them. I thought, let me try them. I like the other ones. I, I opened a pack of each and I do like the texture, the smell, the size of the unscented ones. They're perfectly fine for the price, it's great. Um, I do, I think overall prefer the Kirkland brand ones, but the Sam's, what is it, Members Mark brand was great on the unscented, but I don't like the other ones. And I mean, they're only 15 bucks, we could use them for sure. I just don't, they're not, I don't like them. So I need to find out what Sam's return policy is. Um, but yeah, I feel like I need to stock up on some medicines just in case, you know, I don't think we have like any Mucinex, NyQuil, DayQuil, that kind of stuff because we don't use it very frequently and I don't like to have it just because unless we need it. So 
anyway i was thinking about doing a walmart grocery pickup order for the morning we also need cat litter i was saying that i said too i was like okay uh, that's why i came out here for to check to see how much cat and dog food we had how much litter we had we're down to like this little like one more change of her litter box so we definitely need litter it's just things that i didn't i was just like eh, i'll pick it up whenever well the time is now i need to pick it up we have no milk no eggs no bread again i was just like yeah we'll make do with what we have no now i feel like we need a full not even necessarily at like super full fridge but we need something and i'm kind of afraid to stock up anymore in the freezer in case like we happen to lose power or something crazy you know i don't know i i feel like this whole thing shouldn't be that bad i was talking about it this morning i feel like there's no reason to panic like this but because so many people are panicking because of this pandemic that the president has now called it that um i uh, they're making me feel like okay y'all are gonna buy out everything and there's gonna be nothing left for me type of thing you know like when i saw that there was no toilet paper and i needed toilet paper now i'm like well crap i, I should buy two because y'all are gonna buy it all out not y'all but you know what i'm saying just in general probably people where you're if you're people are panicking where you're living let me know i'm in san antonio and we've had i don't even know how many cases confirmed here and one of the girls last week like two weeks ago two and a half three weeks ago she was let out and went to North Star Mall. And ever since then, I feel like the city has been downhill. So I am, um, I guess, just trying to prepare my family as well. You know, if we have to hunker down here for however long, I wanna make sure we have everything. So that is what I'm doing. So in the midst of that, I was pumping and I uploaded the vlog. The house, like I said, is just gonna have to make do. I'm happy that I got to go through Maddie's room. Emmy went through part of her room. If I have time tomorrow, I don't think I will, but if I have time tomorrow or Saturday, I will go through Autumn and Everly's room because their room is not that bad, but the clothes are just astronomically taking over the room. So anyway, that's what my day has been like today. Um, preparing for the absolute worst, hoping that the best is going to happen, but I have to prepare myself just like everybody else. And as much as I wanna just order from Amazon, I'm feeling right now that the Walmart grocery pickup order will probably be the best option, but I don't know. I, I mean, I know for a fact they're not going to have any like antibacterial or hand soap or anything like that online on Walmart grocery pickup and I have heard that some places are restocking every morning with just limited amounts so I may just try and go early morning tomorrow but I don't know that I'll wake up so anyway let me get back to what I was doing um I think that was all I wanted to come on here and tell you guys I completely blew my day I had a bag of popcorn and some M&Ms because I'm stressed so hopefully <laughs> I'm not stuck in the house with all of the children for weeks on end but at the same time I want them to be safe if they do go to school and who knows what other people are sending their kids to school with especially if they have to go to work so you know I don't know what's right or what's wrong tomorrow though uh, Andres doesn't go to work until one I think so tomorrow morning we're either going to make a pit stop at some store whether it be for grocery pickup or to actually pick up some stuff um, and yeah, he works at, we're gonna go meet with my friend, my high school friend, Michelle. Finally, we got it together. We're gonna go have lunch with her and her kiddos around 12.30, and then we have a wedding, a family wedding to go to. Well, it's my mom's, my mom's good friends, so they're kinda like family, it's a family wedding. At five o'clock, it just, it's just very simple ceremony at their house, and um, we're gonna go have dinner over there, so. I'm glad I did go to Target today, even though I needed to get toilet paper because I was able to get their gift card and a card and everything. So that was like one more thing off of my list. And I did make a hundred on my, on my video. I'm so excited. I messed up on a few things I did. I, um, she said I messed up on two things that I did in the video. I didn't mess up on them, but I know I missed a few things like going back, looking at my script. I missed a few things like 
I forgot to talk about the chest having no pulsations or heaves, stuff like that. Um, but she didn't count off for those kinds of things, so it must not have been that big of a deal in the rubric. I don't know, but I made 100. I actually, the total score that I could have made was 106, and I made 100. So I would have made a 96, but I did two extra tests. Um, during the assessment that I didn't have to do they were for extra credit so that made me get a hundred I don't care it works for me I have a test to do and like a follow-up type quiz um, and then I'm done for the class until Monday so enough talking this vlog has been long but it's probably a, a welcomed long vlog considering the whole vlog was about the panic of coronavirus, you know? What are you gonna do? 2020, here we are. So I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. Let me know in the comments below what you thought, kind of what your family is doing to prepare for this kind of thing. You probably won't even see this until the end of the weekend, um, but maybe I need to order something on Amazon that I'm forgetting. Let me know. Hope you all enjoyed and we'll see you tomorrow.